up? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a realistic F1 car in Playing Crazy. Uh, as you saw before this, the car is fast, it's great at turning, and it overall just looks good in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to start out with the main kind of speed or propulsion in this car, a super rocket engine. Get your super rocket engine down and set the increased power to 1 with on-off only mode on true. And then we are going to put down a few blocks like we can see here, so just kind of surrounding the super rocket engine like this in kind of a U shape. And then at the back we just have one block. Now we have these two sets of wedges on each side like this that go too high, like so, uh, as you can see. And then you also have a set of blocks, two blocks that come at the back here, leading on to I believe a 1x3 wedge. So if you put the 1x3 wedge just like that. And then a second 1x3 wedge on the top, like so. So as you can see, we kind of have the almost the, the chassis of our F1 car complete. Uh, moving on, we have these blocks um, in here. So we have two on this side, two on the left side. And then we have, I believe, half wedges. Yep, half wedges found in the wedges along the front. So three half wedges, like so. And then right in this little pocket here is actually where your main pilot seat's going to go, since I've already placed it here. I'll delete it and place it in this new car, as you can see, like that. And moving on, we have a half wedge down 1x2 in the half block section, right in front of that half wedge, in line with the main pilot seat, followed by two blocks underneath it, and then two blocks um, kind of in front of it, then followed by a half wedge, uh, and then finished off with these kind of half blocks that form the front of our car, almost the bumper, I guess you could say. Um, so we have, what, three of those? like that in a line, and then we have downs, or half wedge downs, or sorry, half wedge ups, uh, situated like that, so that they're kind of forming that nice streamlined aerodynamic look for the front of our car. Now moving on to the chassis, once again, we have these, go into wedges two, and get triangle wedge one by threes out, or sorry, one by twos out. Orientate them so that they're pointed backwards, kind of with the triangle side towards you. Uh, kind of hard to explain, but that's what it looks like and place them just kind of next to your wedge one by three, like so, all right, two on each side. Um, and then finally, kind of, we also have some wedges, so we have going to wedge twos. We have a triangle wedge one by three on the side of our car and then on the other side as well, um, just like so. And then following that, we have half blocks, half block down one by twos. And if we orientate them the other way, we have them like this. I'm going to pause here, and this is what your car should look like so far, alright? We don't have any wheels, um, and you know, we don't have the, the spoiler or anything like that done yet. Um, we're moving on to that in a second. This is pretty much the hard part done, alright? Make sure you get all the orientations of these correct, and just remember that this super rocket under engine underneath should be at um, increased power 1 with on-off only mode on true. Um, but yeah, moving on, alright, we're going to get our kind of spoiler done, so we already have these two blocks placed here. We're just going to place some more blocks underneath this, and then we're going to get a half wedge, like so, and orientate it like this, so it's upside down, place it there, and then we get our half blocks, like so, place it on each side of the half wedge, followed by another half wedge, but this is the different type, alright, this is the type further down in half blocks, as you can see it looks like this, and we're going to orientate that so that these, it is facing upwards and it is in line with our spoiler of our car, alright? Then we're gonna get some delta wing one by ones and just place it like this to kind of form, give it that nice, like, I don't know, aerodynamic look, um, followed by some motor twos. Now, this is where things get a little a little more difficult, obviously, this is not too hard. Uh, if you just pay attention, it should go fine, all right? We place them like so with the yellow um, cylinders facing backwards and, you know, the, the gray part of the motor facing inwards. And what you're gonna wanna do on the left motor is have this, all right? So you're going to have a backward set to 1 and forward set to, you know, any key. It doesn't matter, just as long as you don't hit that key, um, you know, it's fine. And then you're going to have the max angle set to 30 with server, servo, uh, the little thing down here toggled on. So set that to 30, like so. And then the same thing for the other side, except the backwards and forwards are switched. So the 1 is up top and the keypad minus is on backwards, all right? And then you're just going to fill that in with a a wing panel 1x3, as you can see here. And just like that, we've done the body of our car, right? Now moving on to these wheels. Um, these are not custom wheels. You can make custom wheels for this car, but I just chose not to, to keep things kind of simple. And you're going to place a wheel um, pretty much 
on each little missing section of the car as you can see um, and the wheels will be have these settings of so W for clockwise S for anti-clockwise D for left and A for right um, just pretty much their base settings um, and with these speeds set all the way to max obviously uh, you know you want that a faster F1 car and same thing for the back except without turning as you can see you click steering off like so and just like that you pretty much finished your F1 car all right just to make sure it works obviously you can test it you know it should be roughly the same speed <laughs> as uh, my other one here and we actually have kind of like a cool F1 thing in sync um, going on here uh, and also if you hit one you can hit one if you go forward hit one the spoiler should tilt like that now on to painting so we actually have three main colors for this car the tires the highlights and then the, just the base body color so if you want to put three blocks out and actually get those colors the first one is 60 60 60 for the main body of the car the second color is just a, a, you know a palette color here 255 255 and then the red is set to zero and then finally we have our tire color which you don't really have to change it is just 20 20 20 or it can just be your base tire color here um so to color this in obviously just select your body color hit fill and just fill the whole thing in um obviously you want to avoid filling in your other colors like i just did um but that's fine and then you hit your highlights so you're actually going to want to color these triangle wedges in on the bottoms here and then also the tips of each wheel as you can see just like so and then the motors as well as these spoiler parts connected here and then just the back of your car like so actually you don't have to do that bit um and yeah that's pretty much it uh, you can kind of color the front if you want but I also want to add if you obviously if you want to you can add trails to the front of your car like so uh, it just gives it like a nice a, a nicer look and you can set the color of those trails to those highlights of your car So you actually get a nice trail behind you when you drive Obviously, this is not necessary. It's just a kind of cool feature to have uh, And just like so your f1 car is pretty much finished um, You can test it. It should just work normally uh, like this one um, And then if you hit one you'll hit your kind of acceleration or I guess your afterburner uh, just like so and your car should kind of increase in speed uh, Just like that. So yeah, that's pretty much how to make an f1 car Now these cars don't have suspension. Uh, they are quite fast and you know You could put guns on them if you wanted to they are good at jumps as you can see here They will fly for a very long time before actually hitting the ground again um, But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much the the f1 car. Um, thank you for watching this video you know, subscribe if you're new and all that, and I'll see you later, so see ya.